Hey, my name's Brian. I used to have really bad acne. Wham, boom, blam, whammo. But over the course of a year on Accutane, I've cleared up a lot. Now I'm in the final stretches of my treatment. Enjoy my Accutane adventures. What's up everybody, welcome to the Monday video. It is week 72 of my Accutane adventures. Me and LP actually just got back from C.T. Fletcher's huge grand gym opening in Signal Hills, California. So this is the first morning that I actually woke up in my own bed instead of at a hotel. So if you did miss me yelling Happy Easter on Snapchat or on Instagram or whatever, Happy Easter, I hope you guys did have an awesome weekend. I had a life-changing weekend. Like seriously, it still blows my mind. It's still like so freaking incredible to me that I'm even invited to these events even allowed to just go to these events but then to be the guy who's capturing these moments like this is a huge moment for CT Fletcher like he's never opened a gym before right so to be the guy who immortalizes that moment in time for an Infinity, right to capture those emotions and capture the awesomeness of the event and it's just so cool that I am there to capture that like it blows my mind but I'm so grateful for it and being at these kind of events has helped me you know expand my mind expand how I think and I got a concept that I've been thinking about in the last you know about like 24 hours from uh, an interaction that I experienced, I witnessed while I was there. So I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. But first, we're going to go over the Accutane for this week. So like I said earlier, it is week 72 of my Accutane adventures. This week, just like pretty much all the last weeks, for about the last eight weeks or so, I'm feeling great. You know, my face is almost completely clear. I have a few little spots. This one particularly came up, and I was I actually ended up making this a little bit worse by picking at it just a little bit. Like four or five days ago, it got white. I was working out, I took my shower, it was like uh, it was like that kind of soft, I know this is really gross, it's kind of soft white, so I felt like I could just push it out, right? So I just pushed on it, and I ended up making kind of a big hole, and then in the next couple of days, as it healed up, it actually ended up making kind of like a scab, but also a zit, so it was like a really big, big old zit. So while I was actually at CT's gym shooting and stuff, I had this big old white head on my, head, on my face, and I was like, you know what? This is actually perfect because I can talk about this in the Accutane video and tell people like, man, I was with really important people doing really important stuff and I wasn't even worried about my face. I completely forgot that my face had that big old zit on it until I actually got back to my car and then I was like, oh yeah, cool, I forgot, I forgot it looks worse now. <laughs> So there's that little guy, there's just a little tiny bit on my forehead, but not much at all. And other than that, it's just side effects of, you know, just slightly dry skin around the outsides of my mouth, and then a little bit of dry skin around the inside of my nose right here, actually, this weekend. I was feeling it really kind of like light up because it was so dry up there. But other than that, I'm feeling great, guys. Seriously, I'm feeling awesome. I even went last night after driving back down with LP from Long Beach, Signal Hills, and we hit legs. Like, I, I, I couldn't believe the amount of weight I actually put on my back. I low bar squat, 325 pounds. I think I filmed a couple of the sets before that, which you're probably watching right now. But I hit 325, I also hit 315, and like all this other stuff for six sets. Like, it was pretty impressive. And my back didn't hurt, my body wasn't hurting, my joints, everything was holding up really fine. So that's actually really encouraging as far as Accutane side effects go. Oh, also guys, I'm taking 30 milligrams a day right now. I've been dropped continuously since probably about like 20, 30 weeks ago. We started dropping down from 120 all the way down to where we're at now, which is 30 milligrams. Now, enough about Accutane. I want to talk about what I want to talk about. I've been thinking about this all day, all last night, and I've been like, okay, this is gonna be a great topic to talk about, because what happened was just, it was so subtle, yet so cool, and it's so moving to me, because it's something I don't experience a lot. So Steven Adelaide, which is the CEO of Ice Story, which is the company that sponsored me, was actually there at the CT Fletcher gym opening to, you know, sh show support and whatnot, but this was a really cool interaction I heard while I was standing there. I was talking with him, and then someone else came up, the manager of CT's gym, the guy who's gonna be managing it at least, and he has two daughters, right? And so he started talking to Steven, and so I was just kind of there observing a little bit while they were having a conversation, and they were talking about adult stuff, you know, like, oh, I story this, I story that, talking about, you know, Know, working together and athletes and stuff but then the little girls chime in right because they're little girls you know their 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 attention span is that of like maybe 15 seconds and then they're like okay you're still talking like what about me right so they stop talking for a second because the little girls are like, trying to get attention and Steven looks at uh, his you know the other guy's daughter not his daughter you know he doesn't know this little girl and he was he, he gives her attention he looks at her and he says hey high five 
and he, she gives him a little high five, and then he goes like this. He goes and pound it, and then right before she does it, he goes and what? What is he? What is? I don't remember the name of the movie. It's like Cool Guy Six or Bad Guy Six. It's like that new Pixar or Disney movie with the white, like fluffy ball-looking guy with the simple face. But apparently, like I don't know, I've never seen the movie. But apparently, in the movie, when when they fist pound, they go like this, like a jellyfish. I, I don't know, but he said, what does he do? What does bad guy cool six do it when he fist pounds, right? And the girl's like, ah, ah, and then they, they fist bump, and then Steven starts going like this, right? He starts doing the thing, and then she's like, oh, because she recognized it, right? She remembered, she's like, yes, that's my, that's my movie. So it connected with her, and she, she did the jellyfish thing, right? So that was, that was a way of him connecting with that little girl, because you can't talk to her about your latest business adventure. That's not gonna excite her, she gotta get, to her level and talk about something that's that's relatable to her because nothing that you do is relatable at all to her. Now this made me think of two things. One, it made me think, damn, Steven is really good with kids and I am terrible because those same kids came up to me earlier and I was like, damn, I'm a nice guy, I'm such a nice guy, but I have no idea what to say to you at all at all. And it's funny because I used to be really good with kids. I used to like watch kids at my church and like, you know, play with them and get down on their level and talk to them on my knees and stuff. But like now I'm just clueless. It's been like a decade since I've talked to any kids. But what it also made me think though was Steven's good at that. I'm not good at that. That is somewhere in my personality or my life or my experience level that I'm lacking. Now, not necessarily is it super important that I be able to talk to children, right? Because I'm not doing business with children. I'm not, you know, creating entertainment with children. I'm not following my career with children. But if you think about it, anywhere that you can improve in your life, in my in my personal idea and my the way that I approach life, I try to improve on any aspect that I can. Because the stronger you are all around, the stronger you are as a person entirely. Like I guess all around. If you have any weak spots, those are spots that you could improve and you decided that you don't want to or you weren't aware and you didn't observe that you're weak in those spots and that actually could come back to bite you in the ass. But it's also just good to improve in every area so that you can you can perform at any level. Because check this out, let me break it down so it actually makes sense. Imagine this, imagine you're trying to land a really cool job, right? So you go to an event, you go to an expo, whatever it is, and your potential boss is gonna be there, right? And you and your boss are talking, and then his children come along. And you talk to his children, you make them happy, make them smile, make them laugh, and for some reason, all day he's had trouble with them, right? We're just talking theoretical. All day he's had trouble with them, and he's like, oh man, these kids are killing me today. And then you make his kids laugh, and you make them happy and stuff. Watch that guy, like maybe he's gonna offer you a job right on spot, or maybe he'll be like, hey man, could you hang out with my kids for the rest of like this hour before I finish lunch or whatever? And then you just got in with somebody that you weren't gonna be in with before. Like see, like the, the skills of life that you could improve on, even though they might not seem direct, they might not seem related to anything that you're doing now, they could help you in the future. So here's another practical real life example. Say you're a teacher, a fitness teacher of sorts, and you're on YouTube and you're trying to teach people, you know, recipes and exercises and, and form and all this different stuff. You have all this great content, all this good information, and you have this buddy who is always videotaping and editing you, right? But you have all this great content. You keep coming up with new ideas, you keep making this, 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 this happen. You get better and better and better and better. And you just never really worry about videotaping or editing yourself, right? Because you're getting so good at these things and you're seeing success, right? And then one day that person that's editing your videos moves to another state. What do you do now, right? That is one area in your life that wasn't really needing to improve at the time when everything was working, right? Your quality was great. There wasn't really a need to focus on that weakness of yours. But now that it's relevant, now that someone has left and you need to do that yourself, you have no skill in that. You haven't worked on that at all. The skills and things that you need to improve on in your life and your personality right now are not necessarily the same ones that you're going to need in the future. So in my opinion, it's always a great practice to to try and improve yourself in every facet that you have the ability to do because why not you I mean you're not wasting time by improving yourself what if, what else are you gonna do if if you're gonna already go watch TV or you're gonna go do some leisure activity it would seem correct that you should just 
go improve yourself instead and that would be a better use of time, right? I don't know guys, this is just a concept that came up to me after I saw what happened with Steven and those kids and it was just something that kind of sparked a thought in my mind and it just made me realize that there are a lot of things that I don't really concentrate on improving that I do need to improve because they are weak spots in my personality and in, in, in the way that I interact with the world and the way I attack life. So I thought I would pass that concept on to you guys because it's, it's sometimes something that you need to have triggered for you to have that thought just like I did you know I was triggered by Steven and by relaying this on to you hopefully this video can be your trigger so you guys can work on your weaknesses overall everything don't just focus on one thing focus on improving yourself as a whole and the way that you live life and the way that you interact with other people is going to improve in quality I guarantee it. you're gonna love the fact that you're becoming stronger all around and you're gonna feel that it's gonna feel empowering I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys don't mind me rambling on about these life concepts because I absolutely love putting these videos out. I love talking about these concepts and getting people's minds kind of rolling and spinning. And it's really cool to me. And it's great when you guys expand on my ideas in the comments. Like that really, really lights my fire. I love that. I also have another really, really great idea and concept that I caught from this weekend as well. It's a little bit on a different note than this one, so I didn't mix it into this video. But I'm sure I'll be talking to you guys about that in the next couple of weeks, so just look out for that. It's about CT and the way his whole family was interacting. It was just, it was an interesting experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a comment so you can let me know what you thought, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I appreciate you guys coming in here. If you haven't checked out Machine Fitness already, this is one of my sponsors, my clothing sponsor, please check them out. There is a discount code in the description below and a link to get to the website. Also, Nicholas Berg, Nick Fit, is going to be here in two hours. The video from that will be up this Saturday. It's gonna be awesome. I appreciate it, guys. Here's my ramble outro. Team Beyond the Week. Big J. Live to your die, Myron! <laughs>